I fall for him, that he is the Savior. And I just want to show you the madness of unbelief. God is a holy God. And because he's a holy God. Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? Don't steal. Have you ever stolen? Don't commit adultery. Have you ever committed adultery? Not today. Don't curse the name of God. We've all made mistakes. He says, all fall short of the glory of God. All fall short of the glory of God. God didn't leave it there. God didn't just say, I'll condemn everybody. He had a plan, and that plan was to save people. And he came in Jesus Christ. And it was prophesied. Are you Muslim, sir? No. Christian, yeah. Why have you forsaken me? And he hung on that cross and he died as a savior. And we can be reconciled to God. We can know God through that blood. That blood makes the way to heaven. That blood makes the way to God. Without that blood, we're dead. Without that blood, we have no hope. You might say, Jay, I'm an atheist, and I can prove that your faith is wrong. Prove it. If you're an atheist, come and prove it. If you're an atheist, there is no God. DNA has information in it. Only information comes via a mind. Mind produces information. And in the DNA, there is more information in the DNA than the whole world. That's how much information is in the DNA. It's packed full of information. Who put it there? Who put that information there? It demands an intelligence. An intelligence put the information in the DNA. You could put all the information. That's how much information is in the DNA. That's how powerful it is. We cannot say that we're here by chance. We cannot say we're here by chance. Have you give me some evidence for evolution. Huh? Okay. Okay. Random mutation. Now, can chance produce wine? One in a million. One in a million. So how come if I threw some stick? There's more complexity in the DNA than that simple sentence. And yet that simple sentence could not be created by chance. Would you agree? One of the greatest greatest physicists in the world today. Oh, well, at the beginning. If it had a beginning, it's probably it's probably the law of thermal no, 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 it shows us that we had a beginning. And that is the main that is the one of the short laws that we have. So if the universe had a beginning, it must have been that there was nothing there. If there was nothing there, how did something come from nothing? Now, I, you cannot get complexity from nothing. God is just an abstraction of something that we can't understand. Anyway. So what's the point that we're trying to... Have you heard of the priest of Christ? It's possible. No, no. So throughout the centuries, we've discussed this. And even today, we've not got rid of that question. It's still here. So science can answer certain questions. Philosophical questions that's still around that will not go away. Chance, that's nothing. Maybe, well, well, I mean, I believe in the pantheistic notion of God, which is that it's just the universe. It's, it's, you believe not the uh, Christian not the theology, not all the, the, yeah, exactly, not all the, not all the theological, okay. not all the stuff that comes with it. How do you region. know experience? People in my life experiences and seeing the sky at night. Nature, nature. Well, the, Bible, the Bible says by nature we can know God. 
said, God we, is can, we can have we can have some kind of knowledge of God. Nature is God, and God is nature. Okay. Is God. But when you say, so, can you have a relationship with this God? In the sense of seeing the nature, yeah. well, well, nature yeah. A person, does not a person love to communicate? So does this God, does this God that you talk about as a pantheist, does this God love and communicate? Yeah, because so, we are nature. So, so the difference between God and nature, God's sake. Well, yeah, this is the same word when we use that. If you want to put it in those terms, it depends on what you mean by spirit. What Jesus said, what Jesus says, we must. So there's a differentiation between God and nature. Uh, on, the Jesus, Jesus. on the Jesus point. He was a great philosopher and a great master. Well, if you read if you read these Gnostic Gospels, which I've read, yeah, I've got a list of them here. If you read them and compare them to the four Gospels, they don't mention very, very much. Are written in uh, small, small handwriting. It's what one of the one of I can't remember exactly, but they're written in a newspaper style of that time. And the four gospels are written in a style that was seen as authority to, 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 to be read authority. Yeah. So. Despised and rejected of man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon Oh, I love, I love, when I'm saying, when I'm saying, when you love someone, you're going to get the glory for it. What do you want to know? You're going to glory for it. The Bible says, it was not by God's 